Good afternoon. So, now this is a more positive one, isn't it? Watchtower. Why liked and respected. It's a nice positive note. Said, um, lots of people in their community they like like uh, Jehovah's Witnesses and are impressed. Some of them have had um, a kingdom hall built, haven't they, in their community in three days. This impresses people. Just to show you a little snippet of this. And this takes about three days to do. It's mad, isn't it? Of course, they're getting ready for their meeting. And if you look at the top, you can see the fans are spinning around really fast. <laughs> The reason for that, of course, is because the paint is still wet <laughs> before they have their song and prayer and their Bible meeting. And that's impressed people, you see. Uh, they even mention it now, even on the House to House ministry, ministry now. So people are impressed in the community. Um, I find a lot of people are really showing an interest in talking now to us, especially after the COVID, COVID pandemic. And there's other things that people like about uh, people who belong to the Watchtower. Here's a, a case where a man goes to uh, have a, have goes to a cafe, restaurant. He has a has a meal. He leaves his bag behind and travels on to the next state. Got this from the U.S. Because uh, Danielle, one of the waitresses, because she's uh, one of Jehovah's Witnesses, she, they notice the bag. And what they do is the bank unsuccessfully. She then phoned the doctor's surgery and the receptionist answered and agreed to pass on Daniel's telephone number to the man. The man was just surprised to see a phone call from the doctor's office informing him that Daniel had found his bag and wanted to return it to him. So he went to her home. Uh, her father was there as well. And... Um, got his bag back. Now, they did identify themselves as Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, interestingly, this man, a few months later, in his place of employment, a woman left a bag there. So what this man did is, he would like to say, he, he, this is what the man did. He said, I found a lost purse. Um, I found it laying on the ground. When he found the woman, he that owned the purse and returned it to her. He explained what moved him to do it. He had recently been a recipient of a similar act of honesty. He said, one small act of honesty and kindness leads to another, making life better for everybody in the community. So that affected him, you see. Kindness within the community really helps. And it's acts of honesty and, and, and kindness. There's another one here about how uh, religious assemblies. At uh, one of our assemblies, Jehovah's Witnesses assembly in football grounds, etc. And a man, a delegate, left a thousand pounds worth of camera equipment. He was from a local press company. Um, he uh, he went to the police and reported it lost. It says the police department sent an officer out to the assembly, lost and found department, to verify that the equipment had actually been turned in. He said, if I hadn't seen this, I wouldn't believe it. He said, at that very moment, a young child turned in some money that he had found. The officer was obviously impressed. And he said, if people everywhere were like this, I'd be out of the job. <laughs> but um, some of these assembly grounds, they, uh, they're used for soccer or for rugby. Uh, or baseball and Jehovah's Witnesses uh, normally there's tens of thousands of police there to keep the peace uh, but at Jehovah's Witnesses grounds they don't need anybody do they that's another nice thing so and in some places they've rented out the grounds to Jehovah's Witnesses and when they've got them back they said we were going to get contractors in to clean our Stadium up, give it a spring clean because it's looking rather tatty. Well, Jehovah's Witnesses will have done that before they started their assembly because they're a holy people. So that's the kind of honesty uh, and respect that Jehovah's Witnesses earn from the community. And I noticed this in our door-to-door -door ministry. 
So, people often say, I wish I could have faith like you, people. Um, so, there's always nice compliments. And so that's the position uh, that's that's the position here. Now, we've got some lo lots of experiences that you can access and there'll be one at the end here. I'm also introducing a Jesus uh, set of videos, starting with his life. Uh, anyway, thank you once again. Take care. I will not drink my wine yet. I shall wait until after lunch. Well, during tea. Thank you. <laughs>